What is up? This is Rakdar. Welcome to the next release on my channel. We're starting uh, Dead Space, the 2008 game from EA. I think it was developed by something called like EA Redshore something, also known as Visceral Games. And anyway, this is going to be the first episode of Dead Space. Uh, usually I'm going to cut out loading screens, but I figured I would talk a little bit during this loading screen. So yeah, uh, this game, as it's funny, I'm actually playing it on Steam, but I'm using an Xbox 360 controller to play it because, well, I'll, ex I'll explain it once the game gets going why I'm doing that. I'm sorry about everything. I wish I could just talk to someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. It's strange. Such a little thing. How many times you watched that thing? Guess you really miss her. Don't worry, we're almost there. You'll be able to look her up once we're on board. Sounds like you do have a lot of catching up to do. All right, everyone, we're here. It's sinking our orbit now. All this trouble over that chunk of rock. Deep space mining is a lucrative business, Miss Daniels. ET7 is a gold mine, according to prospectors reports. Cobalt, silicon, osmium. Now, where is she? There she is. We have visual contact. So that's Ishimura. Impressive. The USG Ishimura. Biggest planet cracker in her class. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it all dark? I don't see any running lights. Corporal, take us in closer and hail them. And stay clear of that debris field. We're here to fix their ship, not the other way around. USG Ishimura. This is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kellyan responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. You're gonna need to boost the signal if their power's low. Yes, we know. Boost the signal. More. Never heard of a total communications blackout on one of these things. You'd think with a thousand people on board, someone would pick up the phone. What is that? It's a busted array like we thought. Sounds like they're having problems with their encoder. You get us down there and Isaac and I can fix it. 48 hours max. All right, you have the lady. Take us in, let's see what needs fixing. Gravity tethers engaged. Automatic docking procedures a go. What the hell? Sir, the auto dock. What is it? We're off track, we're gonna hit the hole. Hit the flash shields. That guidance tether's damaged. Switch to manual, now. Inside the magnetic field? Are you insane? Abort! No, we can make it inside. Corporal, I gave you an order. Is everyone okay? What? What the hell were you thinking? Were you trying to get us killed? I just saved our asses, Miss Daniels. If we had aborted at that speed and distance, we'd have smashed right into the side of the Ishimura. Now settle down, let's get to work. Corporal, report. I'm not getting any readings from the port booster, and we've lost comms and autopilot. It'll take some time to fix. All right, let's get some extra hands from flight deck to help out. Hold still, Isaac. I'm syncing up everyone's rig with the ship. Okay, we're done. Clean bill of health for everyone. All right, we've still got a job to do. We're moving out. Man, Isaac has an awesome suit. Anyway, welcome to... Use run to move quickly. 
the USG Ishimura. So here's the reason, right there. Use run to move quickly. Now notice that I said I'm playing this on Steam, but look at all those controls. It um, is, it's telling you the controls uh, like it's an Xbox game. That's because they did a really lazy port of this game. Like, I hate to say it, but when they ported this game... You didn't lose power to the port booster. You lost the port booster. Unbelievable. Like, it's really not hard to go through and change the coding so the controls are for a different system, but <laughs> they were really lazy and they were like, let's just leave the Xbox controls, which is kind of annoying. Isaac, get over here and hack the door pad. Ugh, hack the door pad. Wait, come on, let me hack it. I like how hacking it is, in this case, it's just opening the door. Nice hack, brah. Except for, I don't know if, like, hacking in this game is gonna be a lot like hacking in, like, a uh, Mass Effect or anything, where, like, there's actually... I feel like hacking is just, if the objective is to hack something, then walk up and press A, you are now hacking it. Like, that's kind of the idea with that. But yeah, anyways, that was, it was just like a lazy port where they were just like, let's not redo Seems the like controls. To pack in a hurry. There should be a security detail in here. Yeah? Well, there's not. There's nobody here. You can't pick up any broadcasts. All right. Security console's still live. We'll head around here. All right, cool. Isaac, log in and see what you can find. Kendra, cool. get that elevator back online. How it's not letting me log in. I can't. Dude, Kendra, Kendra is a bitch. She is just not agreeable. Look, if we all cooperate, we can figure this out a lot sooner. I went over here too early, and now it's not letting me <laughs> access the security terminal. There we go. All right, cool. All right, cool. This is actually this is a, another reason I really like this uh, this game. Is this? Um, I know it's one of those things that I actually. I hate it when a game makes it too easy for you, but this game is kind of more about the story and it's more about aliens popping out of shit, except for, you know, well. But yeah, you know, this game is more about other shit than huh. that doesn't look good. whatever, Taking so pointing you in the right direction is not necessarily a bad thing. Because a lot of it's just about the fighting. Oh. I better stay here and watch this. Automatic quarantine must have tripped when the filtration system restarted. Everybody relax. Everybody relax, except that? for we're all gonna that? fucking Not die. Sure. What the hell? Oh, I don't know. fuck. In the room with us. Jesus! <laughs> Look at that nice blood splatter on the window. Come on. Holy shit. Alright. She know the door's unlocked. Oh, cause she can visibly. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Let's see if I can. Oh god. I'm not gonna lose any health here. I do not want to lose any health here. Run, Isaac. Oh my god. This is actually pretty terrifying. Holy shit! It's right behind me. Open the door, dear door. All right. Oh, check this out. So right here. I thought I'd point this out. I actually played like the first ten minutes of this just to see if the controls were gonna work. Um. Do you like how the guy jumps up? They'll keep this music going until you close the door, even though the guys will not attack you once you're in the elevator. I, I don't know. I, <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, this game's got a few. Um, it's got a few jump scares in it, but other than that, nothing really. That's kind of funny. Hopefully. Uh, <laughs> I don't yell too much while I'm recording this, because I've got, you know, like, neighbors in my apartment building and shit. Oh well. Also, am I crazy? If you're watching this and I can open up these green suitcases, please tell me, because I... there seems to be con some confusion. Also, this game... cut off their limbs. This game, one thing it definitely has a lot of is, um, yeah, so, okay. So here, we got punch and we got foot stomp. Alright, cool. And that's punch. Punch more looks more like a fucking haymaker to me. I don't know. Just kind of like swinging your arms wildly. 
This game, by the way, oh, I wonder if maybe I can stomp these. Oh, money mayhem. I figured that shit out. Uh, so they're kind of like the cases in Resident Evil 4, which, by the way, now that I'm talking about Resident Evil 4, I wonder if I can put, this is probably not a good idea. Save some ammo and punch that shit. Oh, I can. All right, cool. Oh, my God. I don't want to, I don't want to, ah, ah. I want to shoot off your limbs. Shit. Here we go. Ah, trying to shoot off the limbs. That's actually one thing I really enjoy about this game is that you're supposed to fuck it. Oh god. Fuck it. Fuck it. Oh fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Is that you're supposed to shoot off the limbs and your primary weapon has that kind of like it makes a little line for you. I did not do well there. Did well there yesterday when I did this, but that's because I wasn't recording. So yeah, anyway, this game, one thing that I think really has going for it in terms of, obviously, atmosphere. I mean, just fucking look around at this shit. It's got a lot of atmosphere going. But uh, aside from the atmosphere, I love the sounds. Like, I don't know why. Like, because you're wearing a fucking spacesuit, the creepy breathing and shit, just all of it. It really all just kind of builds together. Replenish your health bar. Okay. I don't need it right now, but... Now I know X. X will auto-use a health button. That's one of those kinds of things that... Everybody, listen up. They're using the vents. That's how they're getting around the ship. Stay away from you. Get back! Get... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was funny. They're using the vents! I'm dying! Fuck! What the fuck? Alright, um... Can I punch that? Or just open it, maybe? Okay, I can just open it. Isaac! Oh, somebody's talking to me. Oh, she's over there. Oh, there they are. Oh, look. We ran to more of them on the way over here. Are you okay? More what? What the hell are those things? Is that the crew? Keep your voice down. Whatever they are, they're not friendly, and half the doors on this ship are locked because of the quarantine. Now, we have to get to the bridge. But first, we got to repair the tram system. You're crazy, Hammond. You're going to get us all killed. If you listen to me... I will get you out of here alive. Now, what's wrong with the tram? The data board is fried, but there should be a spare in the maintenance bay. There's also a broken tram blocking the tunnel that needs to be repaired. Damn it! Everything is on the other side of this quarantine. We can't reach it from here. No, we can't. But you can. Isaac, if I can get to the bridge, I should be able to access the personnel file. You fix the tram. And I'll help you find the cold. This sounds like an ultimatum. Fuck that guy. Alright, so we got the map. Oh. oh. Wow, and you can have the map open while you run around. Alright, that's pretty cool. But I mean, yeah, eh. And then, but of and then, okay, so then we've got map screen. Change objectives. I, obviously, I can't change objective right now. I've only got one objective. And then, of course, I've got the objective line, which is just fucking... It's just fucking broken. Oh, and we got a little save point right here. Cool. Cool beans. Oh, that looks cool. Alright. Well, I guess we'll... Oh. It didn't... Why didn't it save? Did I do that wrong? Um... Oh, no. Whoa, that was a fast... That was a quick save. Alright. Cool. So, as you... I don't know, this is kind of an interesting fact. The guy in this game is named Isaac Clark. And, um, so if you're a fan of uh, sci-fi novels between, I think, like the 80s through the late 90s, um, Isaac Clark is actually a reference to a couple... I'm gonna go this way. It's actually a reference to a couple science fiction uh, novelists. It's a reference to... <laughs> Holy shit. You scared the shit out of me, man. Oh, did I stomp his... Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> um, it's Isaac Asimov, who I think wrote iRobot, and uh, Arthur C. Clarke, which... Because I'm stupid, I can't think of any books he wrote offhand. Actually, <laughs> strike that. I think... I'm pretty sure Will Smith wrote iRobot, like... I was mistaken. It was not Isaac Asimov. <laughs> it was it was Will Smith. So uh, you can you can quote me on that one if you're in a conversation and uh, somebody's like Isaac Asimov is the author of 
uh, iRobot. You can be like, um, I'm not sure about that. Rakdar said that, um, Rakdar said that it was Will Smith, so. I think Will Smith also wrote I Am Legend. Alright, cool. Okay, so. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So yeah, we can do put things in stasis in this game. You have some, like, I don't know, psychic powers or whatever. I don't really know how all this works. I guess it's future technology. Looks right. like that door is malfunctioning, Isaac. Try using the stasis oh. module you just picked up. I, I'm pretty sure that was a late, a late video game cue right there. <laughs> um, I already knew what to do, but this is now we're officially as far as I've played through in the game. But anyway, uh, I'm just going to stop recording right here because this is my first recording. I'm going to test how the sound levels are and everything and see how everything's working out. So this has been Rakdar. Thank you for watching.